Well, we're here in sunny Minnesota, and uh, this is a new M1 MacBook Pro. Here's my poor little bulging laptop computer. It's got a bulging battery, and so they have to send it off for a week. I'm so scared. So I brought this thing home for a week, and I'm not gonna stress test it to the point of being stupid. I'm just gonna try to use it and try to write some music with it. It's pretty small. The keyboard feels really great. If you had to switch today, what would you have to do? It's gonna be software you're gonna to need to install where you hold down the Touch ID button and boot into recovery mode and then give it special permissions to do the drivers, uh, install the drivers that you'll need. Then uh, there's other privacy things and system preferences that you're gonna to need to give permission for it to act for the driver to access it. Spitfire's uh, Abbey Road plugin is still in beta. I haven't gotten that working yet, but it seems like there's a possibility I'll be able to get it working yet. Again, this is day two. Contact is working great. Um, that's good since most of my libraries are in contact. Sign is working pretty well, but every once in a while it seems to lose my MIDI. I don't know if it's a problem with the Mac and Studio One in my MIDI setup or my USB dongles in the way of the interface uh, the, between the computer and the controller because there's a couple there's a you know you have to have a few hubs it's only got two of these thunderbolt connections on the other side is just the headphones so with only two yeah i mean you need to start getting dockified pretty quick luckily i've got some docks but apparently I, that may be part of re the reason that the sign player didn't work i did find probably a bug in one of my uh, contact instruments that I told the developer about. So let's head back to the studio and uh, we'll check it out. Actually, I'm kind of in a makeshift room in the house right now. All right, we're here in the makeshift studio. Most of this is contact, a little bit of his sign. And rather than put stress on the computer, not that there's gonna be much with an M1 to record the video and the screencast, I'll just take a video here and then splice in some audio. But it seems to be doing pretty well with this number of tracks. <laughs> 